Hello, third and fourth grade. It is Master P reporting in from St. Michael's. I uh, wanted to do a couple thanks for homework this weekend. Um, in class, we talked about alternating between the G, C, and D chord, and there's a certain strumming pattern I want you to work on. So go ahead and, um, and make a G chord with me. We'll just kind of go through making our chords first. We have our G, then we have what well, we have our, our C, add nine, and then we have a D chord. So what we're going to do, you should be familiar with the structure of these chords by now. What we really need to focus on is just the um, just the strumming pattern. So what I want you to do is start out with the G chord, and we're going to hit this this low E string here, the one closest to your chin. All right. So we're going to be hitting that, and we're going to be strumming down on the other strings. Right. transition to the C chord and we're going to be hitting the string directly below this low E string okay this is your A string and we're going to be doing the same thing and then we're going to go to our D chord and this is the transition that people people need to work with uh, work on it's a tough one because it's um it's unlike the formation of the G and C chord. So we're going to go to the third right here, string directly beneath it. We're just moving down string wise. We're going to be hitting that and strumming the other ones. Right? Miss Kelly's here. She's going to be playing the guitar in a little bit. I'm going to try to get her, get her on board. So this is the idea. I want you to go like this. We're going to work on transitioning all three of these chords. We're going to be working on our G chord. Like this. Go to the C. D. Back to G. maybe for 10 minutes. I think that Miss M has allotted us a certain amount of time, maybe 10 minutes just to work on that. Sorry. It just is alternations and you're fine, Miss Little. And um, that's what we should do. We should work on it. It's going to help with your, your control over the pick. And it's going to help with your transitions. The, really, the emphasis here is pick control, light strumming, and I want you to focus on alternating quickly between the, the C and the D. We need to get that transition quick. Right, we need to make that almost, um, almost immediate. We want it to be a really strong connection between you know our muscle memory and our um, and our and our mind. Right. So that's that's the itinerary. Just work on this. C. D. Back to G. You can start slow. You can do it like this. Maybe do that five, ten times and speed up, try to get it as fast as you can, the transitions. Good luck. I'll see you on Monday.